Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Harry McGee, and I'm from Belfast. And uh, I'm, I've been a member of the Full Gospel for three, about three years now. Is that right, President? You keep me right. Um, I came to the Lord about six years ago. I think I was 55 too, Jack, so I was pleased to hear that. I came to the Lord standing in school. I was a teacher for 35 years. I was standing in assembly one morning, and a wee Baptist preacher got up. And to be honest, I never listened to preachers, because they bored me. But this wee man had fire in his voice, and he just reminded me of my own enthusiasm for, for my subject. And I started to listen to him, and he preached about the free gift of God and eternal life. And I thought to myself, that's an amazing offer. How could I ever, how could anyone ever refuse that? And when I had that thought, as if a bucket of electricity and fire came down from above, whoosh, through my whole body, electricity, pins and needles, fire, I started to cry. And that was, a, that, that, that was quite interesting because I had my own year group of 160, 14, 15 year olds standing in front of me at the time. And I didn't even know what was happening to me. And I turned around to my friend, a, a lovely farmer's daughter from the north coast of Antrim, Liz McIntyre, and I knew she'd been a Christian since she was six, born again. And I said to Liz, I can feel your magnetism. And she said to me, that's not me, that's the Holy Spirit. Now I nearly said Holy Spirit mate, but I didn't, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking about that. I, 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 no, 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 maybe it's the tablets I'm taking. It's, I, I just, and then, I turned around and the worst boy in my year, who was on a year report, I was a foreign master, a year head. He brought his year, year head report up and the tears were streaming out of me and I turned around to Liz and I said, what am I gonna do, how am I gonna deal with this guy? She says, oh, you'll be all right, typical farmer's daughter, new, practical, dear. oh, you'll be okay, go ahead. Mm -hmm. And this guy came over with his report. Now, he was so bad, he had to get a report in every class. He had to see me at lunchtime, see me at, after school, get it signed by his parents, bring it back to me, and I was monitoring it, and there's the tears flying down the side, these feelings of oh, fire flying through my body, and this boy comes up to me, I said, where's your report, David? And he pulls out his hand, it's torn to a shred. Now normally I would have torn him to a shred too, you see. And I says, David, what happened? And he says, I oh, serve a wee brother tore it up. Now I knew you hadn't got a wee brother. That, that would have made me even worse. But for some reason he just said, go, go and get yourself another one, David, come in. So the day went on and amazing things happened to me that day. Just absolutely amazing. I hadn't a clue what was happening. I was scripturally ignorant. So I went and I thought, I know what it is. It's the painkillers I'm on. Right? God says to me, now don't never lose your sense of humor. But it's the painkillers. I had sciatica for five years, and praise the Lord, through <laughs> prayer, I was healed of my sciatica by a lovely woman who's now in glory called Nesta McAllister. She told me she was the first Pentecostal Presbyterian. That's how she described herself. And um, so I thought, I'll have a big feed, get rid of the funny feelings. I sit down beside my best friend, who I played music with for years and years, Tom Best, and he's now my pastor. And I sat beside him, and he, and he hands me this book. The book says, Questions and Answers About God in the Bible. I says, Tom, is this a setup? Do you know what's happening to me? He says, no, what? And I told him, oh, he says, that's lovely. That's like God wrapping his arms around you. He says, that happened to my children. Now, you haven't read your Bible for 35 years, he says. <laughs> he says, I'll lend you a video. Cliff Richards is on it. Don't let him put you off, he says. <laughs> Cliff wouldn't have been my taste in music at that stage. So anyway, I became a Christian. Amazing things have happened in my life. I'm going to link in now to the full gospel. A lovely godly woman, uh, who also ties in with my story to the full gospel, asked me to come up and give a testimony. Uh, in the full gospel, which I did, and I, and I just you know, gave the same text. I asked him, why, why the full gospel, Lord? And he says, think about it. And he says, what were you doing before you were a Christian? And I was doing a lot of reconciliation in schools. I brought two schools together that never worked together, a Catholic school and a Protestant school. We won a prize for uh, studying the Battle of the Boyne. Uh, it was uh, BBC 
Northern Ireland Prize, and we were invited to meet the President of Ireland, Mary Robinson, down in Arras in that room. And it was so good. And so the Lord showed me that this is a totally non-denominational group. Anybody can be a full businessman. You don't have to be a Catholic or Protestant. All sorts of people can be a full businessman. Doesn't he know the delight the delights of your heart? So that's my testimony. I'm going to stop there and pass on to the next person. And I just praise him and love him to bits. And that's all I can say. Glory to Jesus. That's why they have a recession. The business men are going out. I do not. It's too hard a question for me yet. I'm still learning.